How's it going guys? Welcome back to my page, Patriot Cigar page. Tonight we are reviewing the Oliva Series V. Let's check out the close-up and let's see what we're going to be pairing it with tonight. Close-up on the cigar guys, the Oliva Series V, Habano Sun Grown Wrapper. Beautiful, beautiful looking cigar. This is a Double Robusto Nicaragua Long Fillers from the Jalapa Valley. As you can see, we're pairing it with the Monkey Shoulder Scotch Whiskey. Uh, let's see how this pairing goes. I feel like it's going to be a good pairing, a beautiful pairing at that, just looking at the beautiful chocolatey wrapper on the cigar. So let's cut it, light it up, and smoke it, guys. All right, guys, as you saw in the close-up, we're going to be pairing it with a Monkey Shoulder. I poured some with some uh, ice. Um, that's how I like to drink my whiskey, guys, so don't judge me. I know some people like it neat. I don't. I like my whiskey a little cold with some ice. So uh, let's cut into it and uh, light it up, guys, and see how this pairing goes. So I have been uh, I've been drinking Monkey Shoulder, smoking Monkey Shoulder. Um, yeah, got that mixed up. I haven't even started drinking, guys. I have uh, I have drank Monkey Shoulder uh, before. Um, I have to say it's probably one of my favorite uh, Scotch whiskeys. Um, there with the famous grouse, as you can see, famous grouse. I love the famous grouse also. With me for famous grouse, I like to add a little bit of uh, ginger ale with it. With Monkey Shoulder, I drink it straight. It's just amazing. So light this thing up, guys. Well, before I light it, let's see what uh, what aroma we get off the wrapper. So I get a slight cedar, nothing too um, pungent. Uh, I mean, the construction's amazing. Wrapper is beautiful. I get cedar, woodsy notes, hay in there. So let's see the draw. Perfect draw. I got a hay in the draw. Not too spicy on the lips. Just toast it and light up. Lighter went out, guys. Give me a second. I'm going to pick up another lighter. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. That was pretty embarrassing. I should really make sure that my lighters have butane next time. But let's actually try it with some matches, guys. Hopefully, it's not a complete fail. I've already toasted it a little bit with the, with the lighter. But let's toast it a little bit more. So let that, all that aroma burn off of the match. thing that sucks about these matches are pretty small um, there's these are free you, the ones you get when you uh, buy some cigars All right, I think one more match and we'll be fine. I, don't, I think this is not turning out to be a complete fail. All right, come on. All right, not too bad. Let's finish it off with a lighter, guys. I don't want to mess the cigar up. I need to practice more. You know what? Not that I need to practice. I need to get longer matches, actually. Those are too small. They burn really, really fast. I just finish it off with a lighter. Um... So yeah, we finally have it lit, guys. I apologize for that. Hopefully I did not. I'm pretty sure I did not ruin the flavors. Um, torching the crap out of the cigar. I, re I look like an amateur right now, guys. I apologize for that. I should be more prepared. I'll definitely get longer uh, matches. I do like lighting my cigars and matches. So yeah, um, off the first couple of puffs, let's see. Surprisingly, to me torching the crap out of the cigar didn't really change the flavor. I mean, I don't taste a lot of that char flavor. I don't taste uh, um, ammonia. It's actually pretty pleasant. 
I do get that cedar through the aroma. I get that hay, earthy notes, slightly chocolatey. Let's take a sip and then a puff and see how that goes. Wow. So drinking the monkey shoulder and then taking a puff, it really, really enhanced that that flavor, that cedar in the cigar, which was very, very nice. Hopefully it keeps doing that. Hopefully it keeps in, uh, enhancing the flavors of the cigar because right now it's very earthy, cedar, slight chocolate there. Uh, hopefully to the midway portion of the cigar, it gets a little bit chocolatier, chocolate, a little bit more chocolatey flavor. Sorry guys. Um, so we'll definitely see how it keeps smoking. I mean, for a Torching the crap out of it with the matches while failing with the matches. Pretty nice even burn. Let's try the retro hell before I go to the midway portion of the cigar. Retro hell wasn't too rough. I got more of that woodsy hay uh, flavors, aroma, I guess you can say, through the nose. It wasn't too rough. Um, it's really, really spicy in the back of the throat, uh, so you get more of the spice, black pepper. Um, when I did the uh, retro hell, I felt like I was sniffing uh, uh, ground black pepper. But I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful aroma. Uh, so I'll keep smoking down to the midway portion of the cigar, see how it goes with the pairing. Sorry guys, I had a burp. See how it goes with the uh, pairing, guys, and then I'll get back to you on the video. How's it going, guys? I'm back. And no, I'm not announcing the midway portion of the cigar, but I have to say I've only smoked a third of it, and it is amazing. Uh, first time smoking the Oliva Series V. I do have the Series V Milano in my humidor. I have a pa uh, five pack, and this cigar is just smoking beautifully. I mean, we start off to a rough start, uh, me messing up the match light and everything. Um... But pairing with the monkey shoulder, and for me the monkey shoulder, the flavors of the monkey shoulder are you get that grilled apple, like if you were to uh, make an apple pie, um, you get vanilla, caramel. Um, so the pairing with the cigar is just going amazing. I feel like the, the monkey shoulder is very enhancing, is enhancing the flavors of the cigar. I'm getting a graham, graham cra uh, cracker flavor out of the cigar that... Uh, chocolate flavor coming through slight cinnamon um i mean i'm just getting i i i get excited with cigars because i love cigars but this one is for sure something i'll pick up more of um maybe not a box because i cannot afford that i mean i'm pretty sure i could afford it if i stopped buying a bunch of other cigars and just focus on this one but i mean this has to be up there with the tabernacle tabernacle is one cigar i just had it two days ago Tabernacle is amazing. If you not had, if you have not had a Tabernacle, I definitely recommend buying one, and you are going to be hooked. I mean, you talk about super chocolatey cigar. Tabernacle is super chocolatey, and this one is second to it. I mean, I love that graham cracker uh, flavor. The aroma is beautiful. The aroma is like very, very, very floral. A lot of hay. I mean, it's just an amazing pairing. I'm definitely going to enjoy the rest of the cigar. I mean, I'm ha I haven't even gotten down to the midway portion. And I, I mean, it's been amazing so far. So definitely, rec I do de recommend the cigar, obviously, by how much how excited I am with it. I do recommend um, drink, uh, pairing it with a monkey shoulder. I feel like it uh, paired perfectly. I love that apple flavor from the monkey shoulder, that grilled apple, vanilla, uh, caramel. Um, flavors in the whiskey pair well with the chocolatey cinnamon graham cracker flavors on the cigar so definitely get your hands on this and i am going to cut this video now because i'm going to go back to enjoy this cigar that's how amazing it is guys so i really hope you enjoy the video with a little rough start in the beginning but i mean it did not affect the cigar it's still beautiful tastes amazing burns amazing ash is still on there so yeah guys if you get your hands on it definitely go buy some pair with a nice whiskey your favorite whiskey i mean i do recommend the monkey shoulder because it's just an amazing whiskey that's not expensive but yeah, guys, I'm going to go back to smoking this, enjoying it, uh, enjoying it, watching some humidor tours of my other fellow cigar um, YouTube channels. Yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys then.